Okay, so today we have uh, Small Town Boy by Bronski Beat. Uh, obviously, it's a synthesizer song, but we're going to do it on the acoustic guitar, finger style, or finger picking, rather. Keep on the three. Let me just play a bit. Uh, so it's, we're going to use three sections, okay? We've got the, the basic chord. That you can use whilst you're singing the verse. Uh, th that's all the way through, that's, that's the chords all the way through. Uh, and then we also have the riff. Yeah. And there's also a keyboard solo. Uh, so I've just done this five minutes ago, so go... No. three sections that we're going to do okay so standard tuning capo on the third fret we're going to need thumb index and middle okay so our chords are a minor it's a c minor but a minor relative to the capo okay so that's your first finger first fret second string third finger uh, second fret third string second finger second fret fourth string keep a nice curve there don't get them go flat Okay, so that's your A minor form. Then we go to a G. You just do it. Don't need the, the high G because we're not really going to play that string. But if you, if you prefer the tonal, the, the sound, just use that G or, or the G. We're only playing up the second string. Okay, so that's your third finger, third fret, sixth string, second finger, second fret, fifth string. Okay, then it's a D minor. Okay, so that's uh, I play it with my fourth finger. You can play it with your third, but it's. First finger on the first of the first, second finger on the second of the third, and fourth or third finger on the third of the second. Right, and then a C. So that's your first finger on the first of the second, second finger on the second of the fourth, third finger on the third of the fifth. Now, to get that bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba sound of the synthesizer, what we'll do is the thumb and fingers, okay? One and two and so when we're on the A minor, I know I'm not playing the fourth string, but I just put the whole chord in in case I make mistakes. See, because if I'm, if, if I'm just put the fingers on that I need, that I'm strumming, and I make a mistake, it sounds awful. So even though I'm not going to plug the fourth string, I'm still going to put the whole shape on. So thumb plays the fifth, index plays the third, middle plays the two. Now the thumb changes depend on the chord, but the fingers are going to stay on the same strings, okay? So we'll have an A minor form, one and two and three and four and switch to your G, thumb goes to the six, fingers on the same, one and two and three and four and the D minor, again, just put that finger on even though we're not using it, four, thumb goes to the four, one and two. Fifth, one, and two, and three, and four. And. Okay, so I'm just using, even though I'm not plugging all the strings, I'm using the, all the chord forms. And if you wish, for instance, you could you could go with the three fingers. You know, index on the fourth, middle on the uh, third, ring on the second. If you want to play more of the chords. See, but I'm just doing the, the thumb and index. Uh, for this particular one, I think it sounds quite nice. So let me show you that all together. Right, now for the riff part, just, let me just put my footstool under there. For the riff part, uh, Exact same thing, strings that we were plucking before, but we're going to arpeggiate it now, okay? So what I suggest for the A minor section, rather than doing the whole chord this time, is you drop your second finger to the second fret on the second string. Let me show you why. Because if... The next chord is the G9. So I just do that. Right, and then the D minor. And then we get a C6. So this, if we put our second finger there, it doesn't need to move for the entire time that we play the riff, okay? So this, 
first finger here says, you know, we've broken set the A minor. So we go five, three, two, five, three, two, five, two. Okay? Leave your second finger where it is. Add your third finger to the third fret on the sixth string. And now it's six, three, two, six, three, two, six, two. To the D minor. Four, three, two, four, three, two, four, two. And then the C six. Uh, five, three, two, five, three, two, five, two. Okay, so. So whenever you want to play that riff part, I think it's generally after the verses and before the chorus, or it comes in in the chorus as well, I'm sure. I haven't heard this song for years, so. starting this video so you have to forgive any mistakes and then <coughs> the keyboard part what we're going to do is we're going to keep our thumb on the, on the bass while we play the, the solo part so sorry it's like this it's a, it's 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 an, it's an interpretation of it it's not exactly right but so it should sound something like this let me play it slow because like i said i've just done so Okay, so that, that this this is continuous. Okay, and then we just change the bass note. So, what I suggest is you put your second finger. On the third fret of the second string, your third finger on the third fret of the first string, and just leave those there and let the fourth finger do the work. Okay? And then the first finger is free to do the different bass notes. Okay? So we're starting on the open fifth, and then we play the second, the second uh, string. Now we come put the fourth finger on the five of the second string, play the five and the two together. Off, second string again. I'm just trying to work it out with myself. I should have wrote it down. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so it's five, two, five and two as you extend out, two by itself, and then five and one. Yeah, so then you pull on that on that fourth beat so. Sorry, so it's yeah, so I'm not explaining this great. So uh, let me just let me just play it very slowly for you, and you can copy it. And uh, yeah, I'll probably write it out for another video or something. So I'm open fifth. First finger goes to three on the six, then the open fourth, then the third, the, the third fret and the second, fifth, sorry. Okay, so rhythmically it's the same. Let's see if I can break it down for you properly. So, very slow.
be enough, okay? Um, if you've got this far in the video, I will tab it out. And if you want the tab, just email me and I'll send you the tab. Uh, I just don't have much time. So, to recap, so we've got the chords the chord I'm singing. Perhaps you know for the verse you can play either the two fingers. Let's say the first verse you do that. Then the second verse, perhaps bringing the, the three on the four the three fingers on the four two one four two four three two. Sorry. tonight um, I'm an online guitar teacher I do these videos for my students uh, try and do them before the lesson so that once they, they finish the class they can continue practicing and um, yeah if you would like face-to-face -face classes I'm an online guitar teacher use the link in the description below failing that please consider liking and subscribing and failing that just enjoy the video and I hope it helps <laughs> 